What's up guys, it's the tech guy here and today I'll be doing a video on an app called Copart. Let's get started. To get Copart, what you want to do is go to the Google Play Store. Type in Copart. It shows up right here. You'll be taken to this page. And what Copart basically is, you could um, buy, sell, or auction off cars. Um and basically fix them up or you could do whatever you want with the cars when you do get the cars what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna open up the app now once you're in the app what you basically want to do is sign in i have an account with a uh, cool part but if, um um but for some reason they won't allow me in anymore i don't know why um but in Copart, you have a whole lot of options right here, as you can see. Sorry, I had to yawn because it's like 1230 in the night. But um, basically, if you have any problems with the app or if you have any problems at all, you could click the contact us button and you, will be, you could call them. You could learn about them or you could... You get some tutorials if you don't know what you're doing. Get cash for cars, deposit payment, my lost lot, my one, my lots one, my bids watch list, and there are many more. Um, you can go to your app settings and go to your general. Um, and you can set your default zip code, which for me, let me set that one. Okay, now that I set, I've set that. Um, let's go back. You could set notifications, which means what you have must have to must sign in first. You could auction. There are auctions that you could go to. You could auction off cars. Um. Oh wait, never mind. Um, the it shows you where are where there are auctions around the world. I guess, like. There, there's one in Florida, Fort Pierce, or Florida, Miami, uh, Florida, South Miami, Atlanta, North Atlanta, Georgia, Lex, West Lexington, uh, War and West Warner. I don't know what that is, or Flint or whatever. Um, you could uh go to the locations, and you could basically set the location where you want to look. You go to Finder and um, select the type of vehicle you want, whether it's automobile, boat, dirt bike, dirt bike, heavy duty trucks, homeowners, industrial equipment, jet skis, medium duty box trucks, motorcycles, recreational vehicles, snow, snowmobiles, and trailers. You can also set the year that you want to look in, which for me, if I was to look for a car, it will be from 1990 to, wait, let me go back up. It will be from 1990 to 2000. And then I would look for a Nissan or Nissan 240SX or 200SX. And you basically could find the car that you want. From here, you could um, pick whatever car you want or uh, need, or at the time that you want to look for a car. It shows you how many, how much people bid it on it. So, it was, one person bid one th um one thousand three hundred fifty dollars, or that's how much the bid went up to. Um, someone bidded. $2,150 on the car that I've been looking at for around the time. Um, this car I've been looking at for a while. Nobody bid it on it and it's been one, one day, 14 hours left on it. Um, you could start your bid at $125. But now on this app, when you're bidding on the car, there is a buyer's fee. There is a auction fee and a shipping fee that you have to pay. Um, and from whatever, when you pick on a car, you could choose, uh, wait, you could, um, look at the, 
uh, damage of the vehicle. Um, so it shows you the VIN, the ownership document type, the odometer, the hi uh, highlights, grid roll, primary damage, secondary damage, body type, color, engine, drive, cylinder, fuel, and it shows you if you have keys or any special notes. Uh, and there's many more to this too. Oh, this car is damaged. Ew. Um. Biohazard chemicals. Whoa. Okay. Um. Um. From in this app, you can also um click on my bids, which are the bids that you have um put on cars. Um. Obviously, I have to sign in, but unfortunately, they won't allow me back into my account. You could go into your wish list, which I can't do that one either. The um, you could go into um the one section, which shows you what lot or what car you won. You go into the lost section, which shows you what cars you have lost in the bid. Quick picks or save searches, and on the bottom you could you could um click on this with last search automobile nineteen ninety to two thousand. It will take you back to the same page that you were looking at. That's it for today, guys. Please like and subscribe. I'm out. Peace.